Night of Mayhem 5. Peter Hatton, your promoter, has spared no expense in bringing along some fantastic local, national and international superstars to this very arena tonight. So Danny Dong, Melbourne, are you ready? Then without any further ado, let's get this first fight underway. The first two bouts of the evening will be demonstration bouts, and then we're going to be rolling into the real business of the evening. So introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Sam Rogers. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Josh Richards. Three by two minute rounds, under boxing rules, demonstration bout, your referee, Jim Noncomas. <laughs> You're onto us. <laughs> Listen to your corners. Right. When I say break, you step back and box. Shake hands. All right, fight fans. Are you ready to kick it off? We're seconds out. Round one. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Danyong Showgrounds. Peter Hatton and Fighters Express Promotions proudly brings you Night of Mayhem 5. You're watching Fight Sports, proudly brought to you by JPS Coatings. We've got a massive night here, Night of Mayhem number 5, Peter Hatton, Fighters Express Promotions. We've got a huge card. We've got 16 fights on the card, six titles on up for grabs, three MMA titles, two kickboxing titles, one modified tie title, and the main event, truly world-class main event, Jabba Askarov taking on Mike 300, Dimitrio. My name's John Fergus. Joining me shortly will, will be Mark the Hammer Castanini. We've got about one about to get underway, so strap yourselves in for Night of Mayhem number five. Good evasive work there too from Josh Richards. He's had one fight for one win. Both boys looking composed. Got to say two big shout out to our sponsors here tonight. JPS Coatings, Fighters Express. Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centre up in Pakenham. Referee Jim normally costs not having a lot to do, which is always a good sign. Shows the fighters are fighting well. Getting good evasive skills there from, from Josh Richards. Sam Rogers just stalking Josh Richards there for a moment. Good evasive skills again. And enter entertaining first round there from both boys. So round two about to get underway. Been joined now by Mark the Hammer Castanini. Hammer, how are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Johnny. Very well. Another great night put on by Peter Hatton, it's looking like. Mate, Night of Mayhem number five. Just gets bigger and better. But in centre ring at the moment, we've got Josh Richards with fighting out of the Southpaw stance with the red top on. Sammy Rogers with the, the blue headgear. Joshy uh, using that lead jab well. Ooh, nice counter rear hand as well. Beautiful foot work from him and coordination. He's got good evasive skills, Josh Richards. Been working the weave really well. Got stuck up against the ropes, got out nice and quickly. He's really le uh, letting that rear hand work, which is exactly what he's got to do as a, as a southpaw. And good work too from Sam, just circling off to, to the right all the time. Beautiful shot down to the body, they come up, tangle up. Into the clinch, couple of knees. Oh, what's going on? No. <laughs> Wrong rules, mate. Wrong we'll rules. Say, we'll save that for a little bit later on. In we'll the night. have plenty of knees and elbows a little bit later on. Don't you worry about that. Oh, flush left there from Josh Richards. Sammy Rogers walks straight into that one. Entertaining first uh, bout of the night here, Hammer. Yeah, nice work too from Josh Richards. Up to the head, down to the body. Rapid fire hand combination into the body. Big. Gets caught with a with a ping hook 
on the way out does uh, Josh Richards, but Sammy Rogers showing a lot of heart and he's far from done. Done three ten rounds, so getting towards the dying, dying seconds of this second round. Just a heavy work rate from Josh Richards. It's going to put him in good stead on the judges' scorecards. Nice body rip there from Sam Rogers as well. That slick jab of uh, Josh Richards' hammer, he just keeps throwing it out and it just keeps finding the mark. He does indeed. Nice rear hand to finish the round from Josh Richards in the red corner and he will take that round, no doubt. That was even worse. That was even worse. Second sound. Here we go, third and final round. Again, big thank you to our sponsors, JPS Coatings, Fighters third, Express Gym. Final round. Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centers out in Packenham. Yeah. Sammy Rogers knows he's probably a little behind on the scorecards now and is bringing it in this round. He needs to keep busy, he needs to win the round, and convincingly. Jeffrey and Jim Nomikos just uh, controlling the red corner while he's telling the red corner to get down. He might want to tell him to move that stool as well. Oh, good hands there from Josh Richards. Half one, two. Richards working well. Just hanging on and dropping in a couple. Kept going while he wasn't getting pulled up. Finger wave, Danny. Bad boy. Got to give Sammy Rogers one thing though, Hammer. He's got some heart. He just keeps walking forward. He does, he does. He knows he's behind, so he's pushing the pace well and truly now. Oh, snappy hook there from Rogers getting over the guard. Rogers now over. Rogers now over. Better third round for Sam Rogers here, Hammer. It is, it is, indeed. Rogers, as I said, knows he needs a big finisher, and he's certainly delivering that. This is going to be a close one. Just Josh Richards just finding the mark, though. Oh, oh. oh another, straight. another straight left, okay. straight down the middle. Full credit, though, to Sammy Rogers. He's just continually walking forward. Hasn't taken a backward step or fight. 30 seconds remaining, let's bring him home, Danny Long. Plenty of crowd support too for both boys, which is always great to see, Hammer. Yeah, certainly uh, the fighting suburb of Danny Long. <laughs> Where else would you want to be on a Saturday night? Hey, the good old Danny Long in ball, netball centre. <laughs> All happens out of Danny Long. Right. A massive crowd already, mate. This is about one of the night, and the place is almost chock a block full. Full credit to Peter Hatton. Yeah, there you go. Good start for the night, Josh Richards and Sam Rogers. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision with your winner, Red Corner, Josh Richards. There you go, Hammer, a unanimous points decision win to Josh Richards. No surprises there. Very busy boy and had some really good hands on him before credit to Sam Rogers as well. This one's three two minute rounds of boxing. V A B L demonstration yeah. bad only. So the Death Wish has got the blue singlet on. Danny Grant with the black. Danny's only been training for seven months. Death Wish got his hands real low, chin up in the air. What we're seeing, folks, is that. Uh, 
pretty much I suppose what the lads were doing in the gym when they're preparing for a fight. Just a little bit of light moving around. So those boys are unloading, huh? Yeah, no love lost. <laughs> the death wish is a very well put together hammer. Some good hands here from uh, Danny Grant. Danny's a nightclub promoter and event manager hammer by day. There you go. A bit of sparring will come in handy if you're a nightclub promoter. <laughs> Pushing up on the front foot, Danny Grant. Yeah, he doesn't mind so, walking forward. Showing a bit of ticker. Looking to promote himself a good fight in this round. Deathwish comes back, looping punches. Yeah, Lawrence is very light on his feet too, Hammer. He's got good footwork, moves around well. I think I'd like to see his guard tidy up a little bit, chin down, guard up. He's holding his hands down very low, which is leaving the chin as an open target. He's got good reaction time as well. He's able to keep the hands down and react fairly quickly. Obviously both boys training at a Fighters Express down there at uh, Bryant's Road in Dandong, South Peter Hatton. Good little facility just around the corner from here. Full-time facility. Good round one there for both boys, Hammer. Good evening round. Both boys working in well. Nathan Carnage Corbett, Razor Ray Dimatchi, and Java Askarov taking on Steve Mox in what will be an epic night of fights. So round two, Danny Grant fighting out of the red corner. Round two. Got the black singlet on and the death wish. Lawrence Darwish with the blue singlet on. Tell it, Danny Grant, he's come out. Hammer, he's uh, happy to be in there. Swinging, swinging from the rafters. Rapid fire hand. That rapid fire hand work. Good tight guard though, but uh, the death wish is just unloading and uh, just backs off again. And Danny, Danny Grant just walks forward. Keeping the pressure on. The D man. Gotta love the fight name. Death wish. Death wish. Oh, gets caught with the one two. Actually unsettled him a little bit that one. Move, get his head movement happening a little bit more, Danny Grant. He's got a lot of heart. Certainly not uh, not showing mixing it up. Keeps pushing forward. Good work there. Just coming off the angles as well. Just walked into a good solid right there from from Lawrence. Just like the way Danny's controlling the ring. Henry just he's cutting off the angles of Lawrence, but very crafty Lawrence with his hands. <laughs> Thinking of fighting fit lifestyle centers out there in Pakenham, Southeast Boulevard, massive facility out there in Pakenham. Had the pleasure of getting out there and uh, having a good look around. About two and a half thousand square meters under roof. Got absolutely everything out there. Okay. Fighting fit lifestyle center. That is huge. You get fit just walking around the place. Mate, there was 30, <laughs> odd, 30 odd treadmills. There's 25 odd spin bikes. There's an MMA and center. The there's a cage. They've got it all out of fighting fit lifestyle center. Fighters, seconds out. This is the third and final round. Third and final round. Who's going to have the bragging rights back at Fighters Express on Monday, Hammer? Well, it's a demo, so theoretically no one. <laughs> <laughs> but Good point there. <laughs> Good point there, but I'm sure the boys will be talking it up. But see that shot. You see that shot. That's what they'll be saying. Oh, yeah. the Lawrence has rocked Danny wish. Grant there, but I'll tell you what, Danny Grant, as you said before, Hammer, big ticker on him, just continually walks forward. I think Jim's just saying, come on, guys, it's a demonstration about just back off a bit, but other guys are happy to go. I think they're demonstrating they like to punch each other. <laughs> That's what they're demonstrating. They probably just said to, they probably just said to Jim, it's all right, mate, we're on a going at half pace. <laughs> Should see what we really do. Full credit to both boys, though. Definitely. The wish again, just stalking forward. Movement, lots of movement. From the death wish, but now he's backed into the corner. And Grant unloads. A little bit flat footed now with uh, Lawrence. He's the spring sort of gone out of his step. Danny Grant just follows him across the ring again. Road Dimeski just telling the death wish he's got about 10 seconds left to go. Oh, big 
Keith Cliff from Lawrence Darwish right on the bell. Action pack fight, I'm about to. Both boys, uh, they'll be feeling that on Monday back at the gym. <laughs> Good work from both. Certainly got in and had a red hot go. Ladies and gentlemen, three rounds of action because of demonstration about everyone's winner. This is unanimous draw. Give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, and get in there and have a crack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in the den on the showground tonight at Mayhem 5. We're going to start rolling into the main action of the evening. Are there any MMA fans in the house? Yeah. Let's get the MMA action rolling. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nathan Lazy Boy Eater. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner and making his debut from Kimmy Clay and Cranburn, Stuart Weeks. All right, we, you heard the rules meeting in the back room. We're not, we're not doing elbows, boys. Any questions? Okay. No. Nah. Touch them up now. Back to your corners. Seconds out. Doctor. 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 Yep. Three, three minutes in MMA. Norman Lou one. officiating in centre ring. The Weeks. Stuart Weeks got the white trunks on. And the lazy boy, Nathan Needham. Work in him. Not really living up to his name as the lazy, lazy boy. boy. He's, uh, he's very, <laughs> and, and, unless he sort of calms down a little bit, haven't But he's no, very busy. Good driving knee there over in the corner. Nice knee, looking for the takedown. Single legged, gets it on. Stuart Weeks trained by uh, the boys out at Kimikai. And here we go, Ed Beverlock starting to wind up. Oh, he's got the choke locked on Hammer. Good work there from uh, the lazy boy, but good work from Stuart Weeks just to slip out of it. Weeks now from pot, trying to post you right. Drive the hand down. Inside the guard of Edom is Weeks. Again, races up. He's got to be careful he doesn't get that arm locked in. Good work, boys. Oh, nice right hand. He covered up Nathan, then he took his hands away, and Stewart just accommodated him by planting one flush on him. Good work, boys. Covering up again, Hammer. Again. Looking to land the big bombs. Is Eden. Sorry, he's weeks rather. Kimikai crew always well prepared in the MMA arena. You can see Stewart looking like he was about to set up there for some side control, but back in the guard now. Can't quite see from where we are, but it looks like Nathan's trying to get the arm bar. Squeeze the right, though. Working that right hand over time. Hammer fist. Big hands, Norman Luke. Norman Luke keeping a good close eye on it as well. So we have Peter Hatton now promoted here. Fighters Express promotions, and of course the Fighters Express gym around the corner in Bryant's Road in Dandenong South. Full time facility, personal training, kickboxing, boxing, MMA. Peter Hatton, he's your man. No elbows, remember. Still weeks in a good position now, just grinding that forearm across the face of Edom. We've got a good view right between the legs of Norman Lou from where we're sitting. The half guard. Oh, nice good knee to the body. Take down. This one's three three minute rounds, MMA rules. One thing with Ed Bevelock when you can hear him calling out, also the opponent can hear what exactly, Ed's exactly. calling out. They both get up in that red corner now, trading knees. Low knees to the thighs, gonna do the damage. Ten Body seconds. shot. Ten seconds again this first round. Two weeks. Working hard. Had a good busy first round there, Johnny. And probably just going the way of the red corner and Stewie Weeks. Round two, Stuart Weeks fighting at the red corner. Trained by Nick Banjo-Patterson. 
and the lazy boy Nathan Eden out of Ultimate MMA in Heathmont. Probably where he wants to keep this fight, Eden, in the in the stand up because on the ground, I'd say that Weeks uh, has has uh, the good ground play. Of course, training with Ed. Yeah, the boys are always well schooled uh, under Ed Bevelock. Well, good hands there from the lazy boy right in front of his hammer. Still fighting back. Look at his back up, give up his back now. Needs to keep moving. So Nathan just looking to lock the legs and get the underhooks in with the legs. He's get the hooks there. in, flatten it out. Here we go, Hammer. Taking the back now of Stuart Weeks. He looks like he's trying Weeks to lock it in. Weeks going to be able to survive. He's got it in. Has he got it in deep enough? Oh, there you go. Tap down yeah, referee okay. Norman Lou right on top there, Hammer. Well, it was good work from Nathan Edom to come back well in the second round. And it was certainly the setup, in the stand-up that got him the win there, I'd say. Johnny softened him up in the stand-up, finished him off on the ground. Good work, Nathan Edom. Yes, Stuart just offered his back up just a little bit too early, but yeah, as you said, full credit to Nathan. Not a lazy boy, Edom. One minute and 24 seconds into the second round. This fight has been stopped by your referee, Norman Loon, with your winner by tap out, the lazy boy, Nathan Eater. There you go, big win by tap out there, Hannah Nathan Eden, full credit to Stuart Weeks. He'll be back to live there and fight another day. Three minute rounds, MMA, Ramem Habib, trained by Peter Hatton out of Fighters Express. That Afghan pretty boy, one MMA fight for one win. Take it. Showtime. He's a renderer by trade. He needs to contact Johnny from JPS Codings. Get them together. He'll hook him up with a bit of render. So. I've seen uh, Jordan Lucas before go around. And, uh, a very well put together fighter. Anyone coming out of uh, Nemesis fight team down there in Northcote Hammer, they're all. Very well put together, of course. Dennis Kelly recently awarded his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's got the Road Rage Thomas Rudiman, Phil Lai. Building up a real strong stable. So, Ramin's Remen, got the, uh, the tie shorts on for those that are, are watching at home. A couple of good teeps he's thrown out, Hammer. Yeah, he's keeping this one in the stand up well. Almost gets thrown over the ropes. Shows is up well, looks the land. Showtime just 18 years of age, looking like he's out for the arm. For a neck crack. Oh, look at that. Beautiful work, beautiful Trent. work, Jordan Lucas. He is a slick operator. He's got the hooks in. Henry's just trying to get that rear naked choke lock on Norman Liu. He's keeping a good close home. You can see him just really posturing back. If uh, remembers smart, he'll throw his leg out the rope. Just looking to get the hooks in and sink in that rear naked. From where we're sitting, we can't quite see. Looks like he might have it locked on there, Hammer. Yeah, yeah there you go, tap down. It's all over. And a very quick win there to Showtime, Jordan Lewis. Three from three now. Very impressive from Team Nemesis. But Tell you what. 18 years of age. Three from three. And a very slick operator on the mat. <laughs> big future ahead of him and a big thanks to Fighting Fit. Their MMA division out at 15 Southwest Boulevard in Packenham for getting behind that one. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 28 seconds into the 
for the very first round, your referee Norman Liu has called a stop to this bout with your winner by rear naked choke, Blue Corner, Jordan. Yeah, big Super. win there to the Showtime, Luke Jordan Luke. Lucas, rear naked choke, one minute 28 into the first round. Full credit to Remem, Habib people look very good on his feet, but Jordan Lucas uh, very well put together on the ground. Big thanks to the fighting fifth lifestyle centres, their MMA division out at 15 South East Boulevard in Packingham. You're both aware of the rules. Listen to my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times, all right? Conduct yourself in a good sporting manner, all right? Touch gloves now in the last round. Good luck to you. Here we go, Hammer. About five of the Here night. We We've got Goran Stojkovsky. Trained by Faisal Fayed and Zayed Zachariah out of fighting fit. Making his judge? debut, taking on Rodney Basin. Trained by Joey Demacoli from Team Ultimate uh, Airport West. Three turnarounds. Kickboxing Dark rules. Around one. 77 kilo weight division. And I tell you what, Goran's winning the battle of the tattoos, Hammer. Yeah. Goran uh, recently came down to uh, my gym, down to Hammer's gym, and uh, had a bit of a workout there and had some great potential in sparring. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him do his business in centre ring. It's a, a well put together fighter, Faisal Fayed, and of course Ziad Zachariah, preparing boys at the moment to get in the ring. Uh, doing a fine job, I've got to say. Good low kick there from uh, Rodney Basin. He's kept his work rate up, though. He's kept his guard up, Rodney Basin, which is a which is a wise thing because Goran's just very heavy with his hands. Goran's just busy up. Going to the body, up to the head. Trademark hand work. And you'd expect nothing less. With Faisal Fayed, of course, honing the boy's hands. Finishing off with the kicks as well, both sides of the body. Rolling the hands through. Rodney Basin just keeping that guard nice and uh, nice and tight. Good Rod smart work too. He locked on as well, just so the referee had to break it up. Rodney really needs to pick up the work rate. Straight right hand into the body kick goes Goran. Chopping the low kick. Rocket Rod. Dan on that netball. Where are we? The Dan on netball centre, mate. But that rib kick from Goran just smacked around the the venue. This one's three two minute rounds, kickboxing rules. Don't hold. Good body rips there from Goran as well. He's been very busy with his hands. Just busy mixing it up, two legs and hands all working. Overtime, body, body, head, up he goes again, straight punches, sets the round kick. Ten seconds ago in this first round. I'll tell you what, I've got a big shout out to, to Joey Demacoli, mate. He's a tough boy. He's, I think he's the only guy here in shorts tonight that's not fighting. <laughs> Nice and fresh here in the Daniel Netball Centre. And Joey Demacol is walking around in his shorts. So round two. Goran Dodjkovsky, the bank manager, trading out a fighting fit. Have a look at that double low kick into the big overhand right. Joey Demacoli. Joey Demacoli was telling Rodney Basin he's got to start letting his hands go in between rounds. He's got a tight guard, but he needs to work out of that guard. He'll be throwing leather as well. So at this point, it's all Goran Strojanovsky. He's a very aggressive fighter as Goran. I hope he's aggressive with his home loans. Might go and pay him a, <laughs> pay him a visit. Not sure which bank he's, he's with. Strojanovsky fighting at 78 kilos, but I reckon he could probably get down to mid-70s easy. He is carrying a little bit around the girth there, Hammer. But making his debut here tonight, but no doubt he'll, he'll keep working on it. 
making his debut, and no shin guards as well. Right. Step back, guys. Nice and close. Opted not right. to fight with shin guards. Again, chops up the supporting leg, climbing oh, right hand Superman. into the body kick, into the round kick. Oh, Rod's in a bit of trouble at this point. Fires back with that with that left hook. Overhand right, straight right. Strojanovski into the body, up to the head, chops the body. It's all work rate, all pressure from Goran Strojanovski. He's, he's relentless, Hammer. He Absolutely is. relentless. Nice and clean. Rodney Basson. Sucking it hard now through the grill. Jab two, into the body, up to the head. Strojanovski into the body again with the body kick down low. Took all him. attacks, all forward movement. He's a tough boy though, Rodney Basin. And he's taken absolutely everything. Stop. Break. Step back. Stop. Not even looking like going down at the moment. Clash of leg kicks. Fly kicks. He fires, he fires into the body, Strojanovski. Ties up, almost set, set for the knee there. Yeah, ten seconds ago in this what? second round. Another big round there for Goran Stodge. Stodjkovsky. Referee Bryce Burst, whistle keeping Jones a good close eye on it. Rodney Basin going back into his corner. Doesn't look like he's been hit, Hammer. Yeah. Goran Stodjkovsky, all work rate, all pressure from the get-go. Here we go, third and final round. Goran Stodjkovsky and Rodney Basin has been all Goran Stodjkovsky so far, Hammer. Into the body kick he goes, straight up, overhand right, taps away, bang bang, into the body, up to the head. Goran again, bangs around, kick into the carcass, on the inside, chips away, pressure again. He is not giving Rodney Basson any room to work, any, any room to recover, just full pressure the whole time, clubbing right hand, Strojovski. Basson fires one back of his own. Because Rodney Basson trained by Joe Demicoli out of Team Alderman. Team Alderman got coming up on Friday the 19th of October. Unleashed out at West End Market Hotel in Sunshine. Matty Litmanenko, Rajya Bus, AJ Brunton and Hassan on the card. Another huge night for Team Alderman out there. Oh, that inside thigh, step across inside thigh now really smashing in. And Goran unloading with the power. Right. Step back. Basson just looks like he's in a world of hurt. Right. Weather the storm, but he needs to throw something. Needs to throw that one Hail Mary shot. Left hook, straight right hand into the body. He goes again. They tangle up. They will be broken. Really impressed with the work rate of Goran. Hammer, as you said, he looks like he's, he's conditioning. He could go a, a lot further, but he's not guessing at all. No, he's not as fit as. And uh, looking the goods. Putting the numbers out there in the combinations. Chops that inside fight again off the back leg. That's got to hurt. Bass on tomorrow. Body, body, head again. Tell you what, one thing with uh, Rodney Basin, oh. his guard is sensational, Hammer, but he's just not letting anything go of his own. He's been manhandled almost for the three rounds. Rodney Basson, he needs to fire back. He's a tough cookie. Ten seconds again, his third round. Tough, tough boy, but not throwing enough leather. It's been all one-way traffic. Goran Strojovski. Just dictating the terms of this fight. The big low kick to finish. <laughs> as you said, Hammer, all one-way traffic to Goran Sochkovsky, but full credit to Rodney Basin, tough as they come. Just want to go to the judges, but we know where it'll be going. Ladies and gentlemen, up three rounds of kickboxing action. We go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision with your winner, Red Corner, Goran There you go, no surprises there. Unanimous points win to Goran Sochkovsky, but full credit. To Rodney Basin from Team Ultimate, as tough as they come, took absolutely everything, including the kitchen sink. At last of the distance, but Goran Stojkovski, very impressive debut here tonight. Look forward to seeing more of him. All right, Daniel, we're going to keep the kickboxing action rolling. Going into our sixth bout of the evening. Introducing first, playing out of the blue corner, Hamad Shari. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jordan, the Massacre, Maslan. Rules.
Eagles, okay. Okay. About no six. knees of any kind, no Probably elbows, no grabbing. JPS coating, right, Jordan nice Maslin. Hey guys, the Massacre what? fighting out of the red corner train by Manny Ball and Nathan Allison from the Smack Gym. Help! Fight! So, Round one. Boys coming out of that facility uh, fairly well put together. Very fit indeed. Sharifi now goes bombing, goes bombing, goes bombing. Sharifi keeping the pressure on on the inside. But Maslin showing he's far from done. This one's three two minute rounds. Kickboxing. Oh, he was out cold. It's all over. Spinning back fist. And that's it, Hammer. It is all over. The spinning back fist. I think they just caught him as an elbow as he was trying to uh, go get in on it. And Jordan looks a little bit. Uh, Devastated the hammer with that spin. Not sure whether the spinning, but he thinks the spinning back fists weren't allowed. But it's caught uh, Hamid flush. Dr. Peter Lewis is in there. I don't think there was spinning back fists allowed. It was a spinning back fist. I think that turned into a spinning elbow. Poor old Sharifi was looking to be on fire early. Just got caught. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to a decision on the screen, it's Lam Hammond. Under the rules of the kickboxing fight, unfortunately, sometimes accidents do happen. There was no intentional any malice uh, from Jordan Maslin. Sometimes these things do happen. It's quite a safety experiment. All times, as you can see, Hamad has got up. He's okay, and I'm sure he'll be back to fight another day. Give me both of these boys a big round of applause. Can I have both boys to sing in, please? Ladies and gentlemen, halfway through the first round, unfortunately, Jordan Masson has been disqualified due to a legal technique declaring Hamad Sharif, Hit Sharaf Sharaf, he's coming, your winner. But I'm sure both these boys will show good sportsmanship. Well, there you go, Hamad, Hamad Sharifi awarded the win. Unfortunately, Jordan uh, disqualified for what looked like was a spinning back elbow. It was under kickboxing rules, but. I'm at Sharifi now, he's okay, he's uh, back up on his feet, but... Uh... Alright Dan, on showgrounds, we're going to keep the kickboxing action rolling. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue coin and making his debut this evening, Nathan Crook. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner and also making his debut this evening, fighting out of the fighting fit gym and representing Belgrade, Carlo Riccardi! Both fighters to the ring, please call final instruction. Hey guys, we're fighting kickboxing rules, okay? So, unlike the last fight, no elbows of any kind, no knees. It's all punches, kicks, no grabbing, okay? Everyone understands? Good, okay. Just guys, guys, good luck. Smack Jim. Let me Both tell boys you. making their debut. Let me tell you. Hi! Hello, Riccardi. Round one. It's very well put together. Power fighter, lands the big shots. Just like that beautiful left hook you just let go there, Hammer. Again, came down to, uh, to my gym, down to Hammer's gym, did some sparring, took uh, took care of business well and truly. And uh, is, as I said, a well put together spider, a fighter that can that can throw shots, especially the real. What are they feeding him up in Belgrade? I mean, we've seen two fighters coming out of Belgrade tonight. I think it's the first two fighters I'm aware of coming out of Belgrade, but he does look well put together. Slapping kicks there. Nathan Cook, 18 years of age. Watch that right hook. Watch that right hook. 
of, uh, of Paolo. Works well. Left hook as well, landing. Nathan. It's just so tight, his Paolo's uh, What's your head coming up? hooks as well. Again, pressure. All pressure, all forward pressure. Nathan Cook has really uh, got to keep his guard up nice and high. Try and use what reach he's got. Oh, got caught with a hook there. Right, that stunned him, that stunned him, that hook. Again, he comes bombing. Paolo, Paolo Riccardi. He called it early, Hammett. Very good hands on Paolo Riccardi. But I tell you what, Nathan Cook, not looking too phased. Tough. Tough boy. That's uh, one word to describe him. Cook, very tough. Oh, he's from Crib Point, mate. You wouldn't expect anything less coming out of Crib Point. <laughs> Big hands there from Paolo Riccardi as well over in the red corner. Really up, opening up body oh, rips as there's well. The hook. There's the hook. And referee Darren Bauer putting the eight count on Nathan Cook. Big, big hands there from Paolo Riccardi. 72 kilos, 10 seconds ago in the first round. This one, will, uh, this one will get to the end of the first round, Hammer. Straight down the tube. That's the end of the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Tell you what, Nathan Cook, welcome to the world of uh, fighting in centering. Paolo Riccardi, Hammer, as you said, looks very, very well put together. So round two, Bradley brought to you by JPS Coatings. Paolo Riccardi, very impressive first round. Down to the body, up to the head, Riccardi. Body, 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 up to the head he goes. But I'm impressed with the chin though of Nathan Cook. He's worn the absolute best shots Paolo Riccardi's thrown at him. Riccardi now just dissecting Cook. Going to the legs, up to the head. Stalks forward again. Chops low. They're letting the kicks fly with the, with the shinnies on this one. The yeah, referee Darren Bauer is keeping a good close eye on it. Nathan Cook just doesn't look like he's got any answers for Paolo Riccardi at the moment, but he's uh, he's taken absolutely everything. Big right hand there from Riccardi as well. Riccardi just plants on that front foot and lets the hands go to work. And he's got big hands. He's got he's got rock solid concrete in those hands. Riccardi again measures with the jab. Beautifully done. Loops under, throws the hook. He hits him again with that hook. Watch him weave the right hand and throw that left hook. Body, body, up to the head. Threes and fours. He's going to get a count. This one will almost be stopped, I'd say. Yeah, referee Darren Bauer keeping a good close eye on uh, Nathan Cook. Mate, he's a tough kid from Crib Point. Um, you know what, though, Johnny? I'm really wondering if it's worth Cook continuing. Yeah, well, Nathan Ellison and the boys over there just having a good look. Paolo Riccardi, he's just, uh, he's just on a mission tonight, Hammer, and just, you know, giving the both boys and making their debut. Oh, big right hand there from Riccardi as well. Free Darren Bauer just separating the boys. I thought he was actually going to get in and call it, call it off then, Hammer. One, two, three, four. He fires back, though, Cook. He needs to keep that right hand plastered to the side of his head or that left hook's going to come over the top and clip him. About 20 body rips there from Riccardi. It's just like he's working the bag up and down, Hammer. Ten seconds ago in this second round. This is all due, I reckon, to the fitness training. You can see how Zachariah, the fitness guru, has prepared his boys a treat, fitness-wise. Faisal Fayette in the corner as well. Absolute powerhouse, Paolo Riccardi Hammer, but I said, Nathan Cook, mate, he's a tough oh, boy. I've got to take my hat off to him. Fantastic. Try it up again, we got not a mayhem final number round. five. JPS Coatings third oh, final <laughs> round. Cook straight off the straight off the bell. Right hand. Tell and you what, a young man with a lot of heart. He's going to need a miracle almost to win this one. But and nevertheless, he fights back. And, uh, the referee Darren Bauer just stepping. I thought what? he was going to put another eight count on there, but he just separated the boys. Big future ahead of him is Paolo Riccardi. But I tell you what, Nathan Cook. And he's got eyes on him like dinner plates as he walks forward. Fred Darren Bauer just having a good look. Tied for the sp turning, uh, spinning back kick. Something for the highlight reel. But I tell you what, he's been uh, full of highlights so far, Paolo Riccardi. Down the body up to the head. Riccardi goes again. Threes and fours, five, six. Big hook off the right. Again, as I said, you've got to look at the right and left hook of Riccardi. They are lethal. Mate, Riccardi is just on a mission tonight, but I tell you what, Nathan Cook, mate, 
moving, moving forward, fights aren't going to get much harder than this. This is his debut tonight. He sees the end of this one. <laughs> Anything's easier after this. You're looking at dictionary under right. tough and you see a picture of Nathan Cook. <laughs> Fight. Again, he works with the body kick, Cook. Tight guard. He's keeping those gloves plastered to the side of his head. Final Just where they have to be. Cook wires back. Referee, uh, Darren Desmond Bauer we're just pulling Palo up for dropping his shoulder in as he was in north and nice and close. Big right hand from Riccardi. Riccardi just unloading relentlessly with Nathan Cook showing what he is made of in a big way. Ten seconds to go in his third and final round. I didn't think this would go the distance, Hammer. Full credit to Nathan Cook from the smack gym down there in Somerville. They breed him oh, tough in Crimp oh, Point. But they breed him tougher in Clayton oh, Polo Riccardi. The boys at Smack Gym have got to be really proud of Nathan Cook. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard once again. We have a unanimous points decision with your winner, Red Potter. There you go, no surprises there. Unanimous points decision win to Polo Riccardi. And as Hammer called it early, this kid's got the got what it takes. But Nathan Cook, a.k.a. Rocky, well done, young fella. Hold your head high, mate. You uh, withstood everything but a... Big win there to Paolo Riccardi, and the question is, what's next for Paolo Riccardi? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at the Daniel Showgrounds. Moving into our first title fight of the evening. Kickboxing rules three by two the rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Robert Sedgley. Hammer, first of our title fights up for okay, grabs, the IKBF Victorian, Victorian title, four two minute round, kickboxing rules, we've got Kid time. Chaos, and Johnny Christopoulos, the little the explosive little nice package that, that he is in centering, five fights right? for four right, wins, trained by Peter Hatton out of Fighters Express, this one will be explosive. Well, what an even matchup, both fighters, identical records, little Johnny Christopoulos is probably one of my favourite fighters in the, on the Melbourne circuit, oh he's been caught, he's been caught! But I tell you what, it doesn't stop him. Hammer, he's just swinging forward. Just lost his, he lost his direction on that swing. Needs to relax a bit. A little bit, a bit tense here tonight, Johnny. Loose needs to shake it up and loosen it out. He normally starts a lot quicker does Johnny Christopoulos Hammer. Also, uh, at this weight, 74.3 for his height. It's a, it's a pretty high weight division for him to be in. I'd like to see Johnny's down at around the 69, I think, Johnny. Yeah, he looks like he could uh, get down to that sort of level as well, Hammer. But you have a look at the hide and reach advantage there of, of Sedgley. Johnny just standing there flat-footed. Sedgley looking very confident as well. He's got the hide and reach advantage. Almost as a crouch down to hit, Johnny. Robert Sedgley's had five fights, four wins, three coming by way of knockout. Big overhand there from, from Kid Chaos. Referee Bryce Burt. We still love watching him in centre ring as well. Judges for this one, Ignatius, Miss Liddy's Ben TC, Smullen and uh, Dave Fox. Big thanks to Fighting Fit. Lifestyle centers out there oh, and packing them. Caught again. 
And Robert Sedgley was about to load up and did the right thing and just backed off. I think Robert Sedgley's sort of saying, well, couldn't help but hit him in the back of the head if he going to turn his back. He said it wasn't in the back of the head. It's debatable. Oh, a big hook. Big hook. Big body kick. It's going to be a count. It's going to be a count. Yeah, that was uh, Bryce Burt Whistle giving some clear direction. Six, seven, eight. Hands up, Johnny. Let's go. Let's go. Johnny's going to be able to recover from that big switch round kick into the rib cage. Yeah. He's really uh, he's white. First off, what's this? It's, not yeah. zone. it's all over. Unfortunately for Johnny, C was doing such a good job with that, letting the, bump, the bombs fly. But Robert Sedgley, height and reach advantage, well put together, picked his, picked his shots, accuracy, power. Ladies and gentlemen, one minute and 52 seconds into the very first game of the referee, Brass Bird Whistle has called a stop to this bout. By TKO, your winner, and you are going to be a Victorian champion, Robert Sedgley! A big win there to the sledgehammer Robert Sedgley's team ultimate. Commiserations to Johnny Christopoulos, but a devastating performance there from Robert Sedgley. Coast oh, MMA title up for grabs. We've got Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews. This one is Sammy F. Three five minute rounds. Sammy is tough. I've seen a couple of his fights up in Can Sydney Hammer. But Jake Matthews, 18 years of age, looks looks like he's well put together, ready? Hammer. Let's yeah, go. Is, uh, he's got big shoulders on him. He's the I'm NFC middleweight Victorian champion. Devastating uh, submission skills, good hands. He's got everything but Semi Fiamata. He's as tough as they come as well. Nice leg kick from Fiamata. Big side on stance. Matthews. Matthews trained by Mick Matthews out of the Nexus 509 gym. Step through one, two from Matthews. Beautifully done. Barrels Fiamata into the neutral corner right in front of us. Going for the single leg. Fiamata looking for the choke. Fiamata just put the knee guard on. Big height and reach advantage going the way of Matthews as well. Fiamata just good vertical base, keeping himself upright. Don't hold the ropes. Just bracing. Don't burn yourself, Jake. Don't burn yourself. So this one's for the IKBF East Coast title, Jake Victoria Jake versus New South Wales. 
three punches, Miss Ladies. Judge this one on blue. Nice Aaron. tight elbow there, sorry, Johnny. Oh, you're right, you're right, right, mate. It was a well deserved elbow of comment. <laughs> Had to say something about it. Mate, elbows always get precedence over the judges. And another one there from Semi Fiamata. Semi Fiamata trying for the trip takedown. It was Jake Matthews not getting it. Fiamata just keeping the hips back. Jake will look to go down. And he does. Body lock. Body lock. Ooh, almost had him bent back. Good work there from Sam just to hold his feet as well. Keeping, his, keeping up on his feet. Beautifully done. End of the guard now. Take down Jake Matthews. A young man with a load of potential. Mate, 18 years of age, 10 fights, 10 wins. Two by way of knockout. Watch your heads in there. Watch your heads, Sam. This fight too proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centres out of Packingham. Their Take MMA division. Get out and have a look at them at, look at, them at 15 South East Boulevard in Packingham. Find them at fightingfitmma.com.au or give them a call on 59400226. Peter Hatton, our promoter, does a bit of work out there at uh, Fighting Fit MMA Lifestyle Centres out there in Pakenham, and it is a sensational facility, Hammer. A bit hard to see what we, uh, from where we're sitting, Ignatius Missalides, keeping a good close eye on the boys. Going for the armbar. A resident. Jiu-Jitsu specialist in ringside. Great! Yes. Gonna have to get you in on this one. He has to get you thrown in some comments. Ignatius Missalidi just going to... Stands him up again. Stands him up again. Oh! Big hands there from Jake Matthews. He's rock Sammy Fiamata. Big knees as well. Hammer over there in the neutral corner. Fiamata is tough. Opportunity here for, for Jake to knee at the thighs. We go for foot stomp. Good work too. Uh, Johnny the cameraman from Paris Productions, the best DVD producer in the country, bar none. He's in amongst it. He's going to get in there and start grappling up as well with the boys, <laughs> holding the camera with one hand, grappling with the other. He's a trooper, Johnny. He nearly passed out in the corner one night. He was that crook. In the corner they are. And that's where they're staying for the time being. Just jostling for position. Short elbow, right hand from Matthews. And Sammy Lines him up again. Just shrugging his shoulders, Hammer. Fiamata, jumping knee from Fiamata, have a look at it, casual as you like, double leg take down, bang, down goes Matthews. This is where the cage has got to come in handy, Hammer, it's uh, this one in the ring. The boy's almost ended up in Johnny Skidder's lap there, <laughs> who killed him, the poor, the poor fella. Fiamata now, Let me Fiamata. Jake Matthews just trying to roll out, to be careful not to walk his back up. Have a look at him, great survival, rolls out of it, Going Going for the, the heel lock. <laughs> for the leg lock. Fiamata turns, changing a position, tried for the armbar. Beautiful jiu-jitsu there from both boys, Hammer. Great reversal there from Jake Matthews as well. And now in the guard of Semi Fiamata. Matthews looking for the elbow on the mat. Good guard. He's going to try and stand guard. up and slam by the looks of it, Hammer. Close guard, Fiamata. As they roll under the ropes, will Nation bring him into the centre ring? The slap to the side of the head there from Matthews. Tries to pull the head down. Got to get that elbow grinding across the face of Fiamata Matthews. Right, we're going to bring it to the middle. Right, let's see where Looks we like are. Ignatius is going to we're separate going to the boys and uh, the reposition them back in centering. Mark of experience there. Ignatius Misalidis just down, checking sir. the positioning before he relocates the guys. Ten seconds to go in this first round. Fiamata surviving. On the bottom. Good work. Beautiful display from both boys. Hammer the first round. The IKBF East Coast title on the line. And this one proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centres, the MMA division out in Pakenham. Get the bottle. Get the bottle off the ring. Hang on, hang on. So round two proudly brought to you by Ready? Fighting Fit MMA division. This is the IKBF East Coast the title. Semi Fiamata from Sydney taking on Jake Matthews from Melbourne. 18 year old Jake Matthews. Hammer 10 fights, 10 wins. Chris Harry from the MMA. Looking for the single legged. Rushes him into the blue corner. Still trying to get that leg. Semi Fiamata. Look at that. Keeping Matthews right leg, left leg, sorry. Placed back. Fiamata trained by Eagle out of Eagle MMA. Get onto their website and look at eagle.mma.com.au out of Bondi up there in New South Wales. 
Oh, nice knee. The nice knee on the inside. Just the composure of Jake Matthews, Hammer, 18 years of age. Jake the Kid Matthews, something special. Something special, this young man in MMA. What's the back of his head? What's the back of his head, Jake? Fighting with the maturity of a fighter. All beyond his ears. Nice take down from Fiamata. Grab and the pound there from Fiamata. Right hand, right hand, right hand, Fiamata. Going to the north south now at the moment, trying to. He's got the. Got the choke locked on with the legs, but good work there from, from Jake Matthews. Just getting out of that one side control now for Fiamata. North South would have to be the ugliest position in combat sports. For Michael. Spe well, from our perspective, having when the guys are fighting, yes. <laughs> so many lines in him, it's not going to go there. <laughs> He's also got a knee to the rib cage there for Yamato if he, if he take wants to take Sam, it. Take Side control. There it is. Beautifully done for Yamato. He's very composed too for Yamato. Nine fights, six wins, three by way of knockout. Going to get, uh, get his leg over and get on into the mount position for Yamato. I was going to say he was going to throw the leg over him, but I didn't think that would go too well with the, with the north-south. North there we go. Oh, great nice reversal there. Out, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful work from Matthews. This kid, Jake the Kid Matthews. Celtic kid, mate, he is something special, this kid. Sammy Fiamato was going for the ankle. Hammer fist, hammer fist. Epic display of groundwork from both of these fighters. Hammer fist from the right hand, front of knuckle, back to the hammer fist again. Just chipping away. And he is dead set wanting to give Fiamato a little bit of cauliflower ear action. I was going to say, Hammer, if you've ever wondered how MMA fighters get cauliflower ears, yeah, that, that is how you get there. them. One closer look, there you go. There's cauliflower here for you. Have one. I always say to my son, if you were out at a nightclub and you see a guy with cauliflower, he's be very nice to them. <laughs> Jake Matthews, 18 years of age, 10 fights, 10 wins. Sammy Fiamata not fighting back. Trying to get into position, but he's just being over on. He is out. There you go, Hammer. A TKO win there to Jake Matthews, the Celtic kid over Sammy Fiamata. Ground and pound, had his back, bang. All angles, all striking, all attack. The kid, Jake Matthews, has done the business. And the new IKBF East Coast champion. There you go, very happy Jake Matthews and Mick Matthews there in centering. Full credit to Sammy Fiamata, but the new IKBF. East Coast champion is Jake Matthews, 11 from 11. Question is, what's next for Jake Matthews?
Here we go, Hammer. About 10 proudly brought in by Fighters Express. Looking forward to this one, Rusty McBride. The Wrecking Ball, trained by Trail Dowie out of Dominance MMA in Richmond. Seven fights for five wins. Taking on the man who is the undisputed heavyweight tattoo champion in MMA here in Melbourne, Thomas Road Rage Rudiman. Trained by Dennis Kelly, Phil Lye out of Team Nemesis. Four fights, three wins. Current IKBF Victorian MMA state champion. I'll tell you what, Johnny, I really rate Rudiman. He's, uh, he's got good movement. He's got good stand and ground game. He's a well-rounded fighter. Have a look at his movement. Beautifully put together. Dennis Kelly's done a fine job with him. The crew at uh, Nemesis. Yeah. Oh, oh, big right hand there from Russell McBride. Drop Rudiman. Takes his back. Great composure, though, from Thomas Rudiman to... Tell you what, that was a cracker of a shot by McBride. The lesser fighter would have certainly been sucking canvas with Rudiman tough, My great surviving. Great composure. He saw that uh, McBride was coming straight at him. You OK, Thomas? McBride's got the choke in nice and tight there, Hammer. Bit of a side Happy. headlock, really, isn't it? Looked like, looked like Thomas was about to tap there, but he's trying to make position. Kelly just calling out to to the road rage. Yeah, so loop, looping that left hand through, just chip, chip, chipping away at Rusty McBride. He keeps doing that. Rusty's going to let go and start. What a comfortable up. position. For Rusty okay, to be or Rudiman yeah. to be in, really. Thomas, you okay? Stop, stop. He's out. He's out. Well, there you go, Hammer. Great work from Ignatius Missalides. Rusty McBride. Rusty McBride just Choked kept it on. The road rage. Thomas Rudiman doesn't know how to tap the road rage. He was, was not going to tap Hammer. You're spot on there. He punched just himself into unconsciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute and 27 seconds into the very first round, your referee matches this way as it's called stops his mouth. Choose your rear naked choke, zap out, and you, Victorian Icadia champion, Rusty Brightingall. There you go, Hammer. Rusty McBride has now taken the belt. The IKBF <laughs> MMA champion by tap out. Big win there to Rusty McBride. Full credit to Thomas Road Rage Rudiman.
Here we go, Hammer for the IKBF. Sorry, yes, the IKBF. Wins the IKBF Australian champion. He's won that twice. WKN Victorian and VAB Victorian champion. Taking on Brendan McLean, trained by the Bustler out of Team Bustler in Sydney. 26 fights, 19 wins, 8 by way of knockout. ISKA Interstate Champion has called quite a few of Brendan McLean's fights up there in Sydney. Likes the grinds. Big thing to the JPS Coatings getting behind this one. Likes the grinds. Keep working. Johnny from JPS, he supports all the big shows, doesn't he, really? Absolute champion. Johnny's the champion of sponsorship. Yeah, he is, mate. Undisputed champion. Undisputed. Hands up. This one's four two-minute rounds, modified tie rules. Referee nice. Ben TC smelling there in centre ring. Light and Richard Vantage going the way of Brendan. Of course, trained by Clinton Barragri. Keep working. Team Bustler. Keep working. Brendan's also fought uh, Ramesh Habib a couple of times as Keep well. Keep working, boys. Pretty much just a kickboxing fight, this one, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's Mont Tyler. They haven't locked up in the grapple at this Keep stage. Working, Keep working. Right there from Joel Lockdigan. Keep working. Oh, nice left from uh, Joel, Keep but then working. followed up with a beautiful Keep one working. from Brendan McLean. Yep. Right. Step back. Rick Benny Smullen just separating right. the boys. Just think why the fighters even attempted to catch a rip kick. Keep working. Keep working. What a music. Keep 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 Time. Just a. Uh, there was that thud of the inside uh, lower, yeah, well, you lower get that, region. You get that, you know. Take <laughs> time. Got up to up to five Good. minutes to, to get him back into place. Yep. Okay. Must Fight. have been a very good aim there from Brendan McLean. It's very cold in here tonight, Hammer. It's made the target a little bit smaller. It certainly is. Like your grinds. Yeah, keep working, boys. Clean just uh, throwing the shots as the bustler's calling. Good, boys. Keep it up. The lead leg already of uh, McLean is well and truly ridden by the, those kicks of Joel Lockton. Ten keep seconds ago in his first round. Keep working. Keep working. The JPS. Oh, big, big slam. slam. Big slam down by McLean. <laughs> and Benny Smullen loved that as well in centering. Right on the end there. Big round there to Brendan McLean. So round two, the IKBF East Coast title up for grabs. Joel Lockton fighting another red corner from Team True Grit. Trained by Bryce Good Burt, whistle. Keep working, boys. Brendan McLean. Trained by the Bustler. Can be thanks to Johnny and Paul from JPS Coatings. Keep working. Good work, boys. Keep working. Yep. Break. Step back. Brendan Benny Smullen Fight. loves it in centering there, Hemmer. He does a fine job, Benny Smullen. I've got to give him that. Thanks One of it's the best a, referees a, going around. You know what? He keeps the action going. He's not invasive. He just uh, lets the fighters do what they have to do. Has full control at all times, and uh, really makes Thai boxing interesting. And he's, he uh, even, even coaxes them on as well, which yeah, is good to see. No, he's. I give him. Uh, I give him a lot of credit. Credit to he, uh, he does a great job with Thai boxing. Pretty much like Donnie Miller when Donnie Miller is uh, refereeing as well. Coaches the boys on. Another inside leg kick there. Bryce Burt whistle just saying. To Ben Smullen, how many times? And Ben's just ignoring Bryce. <laughs> yep. Benny Smullen, he ignores most people, Benny Smullen, though, you got to admit. <laughs> Keep working. Low, low kicks there from uh, Octagon. That lead leg of Brendan McLean is really starting to read up. Another good take down, there. down again. Another good takedown from McLean. It's going to score well for him. Those takedowns. Judges for this one Norman Lou, Darren Bauer, and the Hellfighter, David Fox. David Fox. Joy Fox. Running his own uh, Muay Thai gym up there in Pakenham now. Yeah, Suk Joy Noi Muay Thai. Try and get that one out nice and quick. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't talk that much Thai when I'm going to a Thai restaurant. Uh, Suk Joy Noi Muay Thai. He's bringing up some of the kids now in Pakenham. Just what the kids need up there. A little bit of fighting Keep sports in Pakenham. Keep working. Keep working. Work the knees, boys. Yep. Get back. So this one's four two-minute rounds for the IKBF. East Coast title. I thought, how many, you know, 13 fights for Joel and, and 26 for, for Brendan. I thought we might have seen the elbows in this one, but it's under mod title. Yeah, it's really, it's really uh, more of a kickboxing fight, to be honest with you. Yeah, good second round. They're both boys really starting to step up the pace. Big thank you to Johnny from JPS Codings for getting behind this one. The penultimate round. 
the second last round. It's a word that only gets ever used in fight sports, penultimate. penultimate. I've never heard it used in any other conversation. Ever. Penultimate. Actually, I, had a, I worked in real estate many, many years ago. And we had a house for sale. A very long story short, I had the penultimate house on. What the hell is the penultimate house? Second last house. Very good. Step back. I think it's the, the next best. <laughs> in second. That's the way I got explained to me, but anyway, this is round three of four. Work, boys. Brendan McLean of the White Trunks fighting out of Team up. Bustler up in Sydney. Ultimate. It also almost annoys me as much as when people say Team. Nice Team. Good work, boys. Good work, boys. Good work, boys. Good work, boys. I was going to say, mate, I use oh, it all no, the time. Like, no, you do it all the time when you use it, though. I must admit. <laughs> <laughs> and i tell you what. Brendan McLean's starting to feel it in his legs, I think. Both, uh, both guys traded some big low shots. Good kickboxing fight, this one. We haven't seen any teeps. No teeps. No, no sal. What is it? Sal? Not the sal. <laughs> None of that. Just uh, pretty much kickboxing. Good fast hands here from McLean. Both guys, rapid fire hand technique and big low leg kicks. Good work, good work. Good hands there from Joel Locking, and looks like uh, Brendan McLean just looking a little bit wobbled there. Good. Yep. Shakes up. up. Tries to shake off the grapple, does McLean. Yep. See the muscle asking to put his step up knees. Oh, jumping lead, McLean. He thought he'd go a little bit more than the step up knee, and just the, the big jumping knee there from Brendan McLean. Bit of a cut appearing over the left eye, too, of Joel Locking. Over the right hand. Good hands there from Octagon as well. Boys trading now. Good catch there from Brendan McLean. Yeah, big third round there again for both boys. Three down, one to go. Big thank you to Johnny from JPS Coatings for getting behind this one as well. IKBF East Coast title up for grabs. Back to corners, boys. Here we go, the fourth and final round, IKBF East Coast title up for grabs. Brendan McLean from New South Wales, Joel Lockton from Melbourne. Big thank you to Johnny and Claudine from JPS Coatings getting behind this one. Good work in the grapple there from, from Brendan. Oh, good hands there from McLean. And getting the straight punches Keep down, working. turns, Octagon nails the right hand through, transition to the knee. And this one's going to go to the judges the way it's looking at the moment. A couple of the knees that Brendan's been uh, throwing at recent times might just uh, sway it his way on the, well, the judges' the, scorecards. He's had the takedowns and he's had the, uh, the knees. It's a mod tie fight. He's, uh, he's exhibited some good uh, tie technique between. Octagon's been busy. Going out fast hands. Looks like Lots of low kicks inside, outside thigh. Step up knee as well from Brendan McLean. Jumping knee as well. Knee again, McLean. It's always hard to him when you come from interstate. Of course. Really got to work hard and impress the judges. And judges for this one, Norman Lou, Darren Bauer and Dave Fox. Where's my break? Yep, break. Step back. But really notice in this fourth round hammer is uh, the knees from Brendan McLean really stepping him up. Uh, just opening up. Oh, good high kick there from McLean. What's it? Oh, lead of the face. McLean needs all. to really nail this one home, of course. It's all Brendan McLean in his fourth round, Hammer. McLean just opening up. Beautiful knee again on the inside. High kick off the rear. McLean pushing the pace. A one two bang. Octagon tries to fire back, but McLean just keeping the pressure. More aggressive, locks in. There you go, Hammer. We're going Tough to the judges. Fight. Tough fight. Big thank you to Johnny from JPS Coatings getting behind this one, the IKBF East Coast title. This one will go to the judges. How you feel, mate? Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get rid of guys to the judges' scorecard. Good this fight, is the East Coast title. It is a split points decision. With your winner, the Luke Warner, Well, there you go, Hammer. A split points decision win to Brendan McLean. Full credit to Joel Lockington, but Brendan McLean, impressive knees and good work rate throughout the fight.
rocked uh, Joel a couple of times with the IKBF East Coast titles going back to Team Butler. Sharp as you like, Brendan McQueen, great fight, great efforts all around. And a big thank you to Johnny from JPS Codings for getting behind the IKBF East Coast title. Hammer looking forward to this one. The machete, Mark Mullen, 15 fights, 14 wins, trained by Paul Fifield taking on. If you're going to throw a knee, you can grab with one hand, then you've got to release. So one hand, one knee. Any questions? I'm going to keep you moving, I'm going to keep it flowing. If you hook the leg, you've got to do something with it straight away. You can throw one technique, you can throw a punch or kick, get it off quickly. Right, touch him up now. Back to your corner, With the boys down there. Explosive, explosive. Always prepared, an absolute treat. And this little force, Paul Firefield. Many catch more, very experienced as Fordo all over the world as that shoot boxing fights in Japan. Certainly, he won't be daunted uh, by the task at hand coming to Melbourne, fighting in sub zero conditions. <laughs> I'm just going to say, Henry, it's really starting to get a little bit cold here. This one's four two minute rounds. I'm sure the boys in centering will, will be nice and warm. Mark Mullen, 15 fights for 14 wins. Victorian and South Pacific champion. Fast hands. Fast hands combines well. Hands and feet attacks at different levels. And, uh, has good lateral movement. Mullins. Good work there from Cashmore. Two kicks off the left leg. So Cashmore also, uh, as you said, Johnny, such a uh, well put together fighter. Well schooled, experienced. And... Uh, with Rob Murdoch Jr. in the corner. You can bet he's going to be well prepared. Nice judges for this one are Ben Smullen, Darren Bauer and Dave Fox. Norman Liu in centering there. Peter Hatton's done an absolutely sensational job yet again. Getting together a uh, great night of fights. Yeah, and this fight's brought to you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centers up there in Packenham, 15 South East Boulevard in Packenham. One of the best gyms in the country. Get down and have a look at it. Two and a half thousand square metres under roof. Every bit of equipment you could hope for, and then some. A great facility. It's uh, certainly one of the most well-equipped gyms around. Keep working. Hands are free. So this one's modified kickboxing. So K1 style rules. Yeah, a bit of a one to the to the inside leg there. A little bit high. Nice use of the knee. Takes out the supporting yeah, leg. Snakey take down there from uh, Matty Cashmore. Got a bag of tricks, does Matt Cashmore? Don't you worry about that hammer. Mark Mullen just opening up with some hands. 
Mark normally starts a little bit quicker than this. Hammer, I would have yeah. expected him would have come out a little bit faster. I think uh, he knows that uh, Cashmore is an experienced fighter and he's got to have his full defences in, uh, in order. In the round one. Good first round there. Really good work rate from Matt Cashmore in that first round. Constant work rate ticking over. Round two, the IKBF East Coast side. Love grabs Matt Cashmore with the yellow trunks taking on Mark Mullen. Round two. Another interstate matchup. Peter Hatton really has brought fighters in from all over the country for this huge event. Mouth-watering main event, Hammer. World-class main event. Would, would, would be main event on any card anywhere oh, in the world. Fantastic main event and semi-main event I'm Stop. looking forward to as well. Nick Patterson with the banjo and Johnny Levin. And Johnny Levin is a, a very accomplished mixed martial artist, one of the best in the country. Mark Mullen. Just not, not his normal explosive self here tonight, Hammer. He's, uh, he's fighting a very tough fighter in uh, Matty Cashmore. Cashy uh, has the height and reach advantage. Looks to, to be phys physically uh, very strong as well. So you can put there's a bit of power behind those punches. He's got good anticipation, good movement, good evasive skills. And he's uh, match matching it with work rate on the inside as well. Yeah, Matty Cashmore weighed in 200 grams heavier than... Uh, the Mark Mullen, but he looks just physically a lot bigger, Hammer. Yeah, well, of course, 24 hours later after the weigh-in, he can certainly bulk up and, you know, put up to three, four kilos on no problem. This is why I brought you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centres out there in Pakenham. 15 South East Boulevard. Stop! Break. Step back. Fight! Those boys got the big overhand rights. Stop! Clean break again. Fight! Work, that? Work. Stop. A little bit better for Mark Mullen, he's looking to bridge yeah, the gap a little bit now, Hammer, get a little bit closer. Right. Yeah, just, just work, he's working his way in. Nice outside thigh kick from Mullen into the knee strike. Cashmore fires back to the body. Mullen tries for a knee of his own, chops away the lead thigh, gets spun. Yeah, Rob Murdoch Jr. just telling Matty Cashmore to power up. Right on the end of the round, Mullen gets a beautiful combination away, but Cashmore pushing the pace also. So two. Uh, round three. I think they call that the penultimate round. <laughs> the second last round, round three or four. Proudly brought you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centres. You're watching Fight Sports. Proudly brought you by JPS Coatings. Cashmore now obviously going to go for the power. The power shots. Get on the front foot and really uh, let the big shots go rather than having uh, too much tip tap strategy. Looking to land the big shots on the inside, but Stop. Mullen keeping busy. Well, at the end of the second round, Hammer, we could hear Rob Murdoch Jr. just calling out to Cashy just to, to really power up. Nice outside thigh kick from Mullen. Sets again with a jab, hook, bang, goes the leg kick. Yeah, just caught there by Matt Cashman. Break, break. Just Fight. saw that and just broke them up. Of course, under modified kickboxing, the letter catch the kicks. Fast, time, fast hand combinations from Mullen. Stop. in tight, just trying, trying to get the little strikes away. So the lily white legs of Matt Cashmore Hammer are suddenly turning pink from those uh, kicks from Mark Mullen. There's another one. Cashmore obviously goes to the same salarium. Uh, good sell. <laughs> and, <laughs> I was going to say, Hammer, don't you talk? I haven't had these skinny legs out for a long time. But I think he's starting to feel it on that lead leg as well, Cashmore. He's yes, beautiful overhand right there from Mullen. Stop! Back, boys. Right. Overhand right. Big one from Cashmore. A bit of a trip takedown. Now, the K1 rules obviously not allowed. Well, yeah, he did that in the first round as well. Sweep takedown. He's starting to, to just, as he's checking with that lead leg handle, he's starting to buckle. And Mark Mullen is going to hone in, that, in on that lead leg now. Mullen just whipping in that thigh kick. It is pink and purple, that lead leg of Matt Cashmore. Yeah, Cashmore. Cashmore's weapon of choice being the overhand right. Mullen, the low leg kick. Yeah, good third round there to Mark Mullen and uh, very ginger. Matty Cashmore limping back into the corner hammer. Big third round there to Mark Mullen. Three down, one to go. 
Here we go, Hammer. Fourth and final round. Proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centers in Packenham. Maddie Cashmore with the yellow trunks fighting in the blue corner, trained by Rob Murdoch Jr. from Fighting Fit Fitness in Wyong. And Mark Mullen, trained by the Silver Fox Ball Fight Field. No swing around. No, no, no. How are you seeing this one so far, Hammer? Oh, Cashmore's. You know, in the clinch, I think it was under modified play, did quite well. But Mullen on the outside with the uh, the beautiful kickboxing technique that he displays, got fast hands, he's chopping the leg well, like that. And uh, he's putting it together nicely, Mullen. Again, chopping out that leg. Mullen, the Cashmore body shot into a knee strike. Beautiful step up knee there from Cashmore. It's a, it's a pretty even one, Johnny, to be honest with you. They're both uh, teeing off on each other almost as about the same amount. Good work rate. Mullen, beautiful push kick. Measures out. Again, Cashmore with that overhand right. Just catching the kick as well, Cashmore. Times it perfectly. Mullen, three rapid fire hand combination, three punch finish with a leg kick into a knee, Mullen. And Cashmore now starting to lift his leg up and check those kicks, Henry. He's trying to get it away from the, the thigh. Big hands there from Mullen. Trying for the, trying for the ripping body shot. Cashmore's legs now really starting to uh, to hurt. Stop. You can see his movement is not even that fluent anymore because Mullins just smashed at it so much. Thought Cashmore might have switched up into Southpaw Hammer just to try to take that lead leg out of the range of Mark Mullen. Mullen just loading up on it again. Again, Mullen, one, two, three, four finishes with a leg kick. Pushing it on all the way to the finishing line. Mullen and Cashmore beautifully done. Big knee, right hand, right hand, Cashmore into the body. Mark Mullen, Mullen actually stopped and looked at, Norm, looked at Norman Lewis if to say he's hanging on and, and kneeing me. He's just got to keep fighting until the referee breaks you. Ten seconds ago in this fourth round. Go. Here we go. Beautiful rolling kick in there from, uh, from Mark Mullen. Reckon this one went to a fifth round hammer. If it was going to a fifth round, which it's not, that lead leg of Matty Cashmore. Well, it could be, the lead leg could be all but done. But, uh, Mate, this one's going to the judges. Judges for this one, Ben Smullen, Darren Bauer, Dave Fox. I had the first two rounds the way of Matty Cashmore. I had the last two rounds the way of... It's, a, it's too, too close for me to call. Five boys, well done. Good standard. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have going to judges score. Close, close. We have a split point decision. With your winner and new East Coast champion, the Blue Corner. Well, there you go, Hammer. Split points decision win, and your new IKBF East Coast champion is Matty Cashmore from Rob Murdoch's Jr. up there in fighting fitness in Wong. Full credit to Mark Mullen. We thought it was close. Judges thought it was close. Split decision. But your new IKBF East Coast champion is Matty Cashmore. And a big thanks to Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centers in Packingham for getting behind that one.
Here we go, Hammer. Proudly brought to you by Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centre of the MMA division up in Pakenham. We've got about 13 of the night. Phone call this afternoon after a... Uh, ben Keller, whose opponent couldn't go ahead with the fight, and Leon's taken, and this one is for the IKBF Australian MMA title, Hammer. Well, Leon Johns is the promoter's best friend, taking the fight on four hours' notice, and he's opened up. A couple of big knees and a crossing elbow. Five. Big knee, a crossing elbow, keeping it in the stand up, the boys. Of course, Ben Kelleher was scheduled to fight Vic, Gr uh, Vic Grudzik, but uh, Vic pulling out unexplainably has led for Leon to be uh, stepping up. And Leon got the phone call at 1 o'clock today, finished Leon. work and said yeah, he'd take it. So no problems. So lethal Leon. Of course, Lethal Leon had a fight a couple of weeks ago on Warriors Way. Against our MC, Jono, the mixed nut Armand. Ben Kelleher, Kelleher, Kelleher just control. Running away. Side control there, Kelleher. The rib section exposed there of Leon Johns. Kelleher just trying to work his way around to take the back. Big heavy hands there from Ben Kelleher, crossing elbows as well. Look at that. Yeah, tapped out from Leon Johns. Big hands, big elbows from Ben Kelleher. Ben Kelleher, the wrecking ball, has done the damage on Leon Johns. A short night in the office, but full credit to Lethal Leon Johns taking this uh, this fight hammer, as we said, on uh, four to six hours' notice. But Ben Kelleher, man on a mission tonight, all the way down from Darwin. Big oh. win, and the new IKBF Australian MMA champion is Ben Kelleher. Ladies and gentlemen, before I do make the presentation, a little bit of a story. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, Ben's opponent actually had to pull out today. He's run a straight tight, he's been training pretty hard for it. He's come all the way down from the Northern Territory. He didn't have an opponent last minute. Ben the Leon, a local fighter, he's always up for blue kickboxing, boxing, more tight. He's out there. Four hours notice, he's set up for the fight. There you go, Hammer. Big win to Ben Kelleher, and the bling is going back to Darwin. So the boys will be happy up there at Performance Gym. Full credit to Leon Johns. Big thanks to Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centre's MMA division out of Packham.
none of the mayhem fun. We are up to about 14 of the evening. Things juicy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man weighed in at 61.8 kilograms. He is trained out of the smack gym by a tight end. And that's a massive 89 fight. Please rank the good Daniel Morgan for top city top. Here we go, Hammer. This one's uh, going to be an interesting matchup. Proudly brought to you by Fighters Express. We've got Peter Hatton's fighter, Ramesh Abib, the headhunter. Nine no points for eight no wins. Run, known for his devastating lead. head kick KOs. Taking on the man, Tum Sipiatong, also known as Teeped. Brian Hass, all round the ring, a brute force in Coburg just recently. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, Ramesh handles the sheer power and skill of Tum Sipiatong. Tum will certainly be going for the leg kicks, obviously, uh, Ramesh. Long legs, big targets for a tie. Yeah, he's a long and rangy fighter, is Tum Sidjitong. There's that push kick that I was telling about, Tum Sidjitong. Beautiful uh, side push kick. This one's three two-minute rounds, kickboxing rule, so six of the weapons have been taken away from Tum. And just a uh, natural instinct, mate, there, catching the kick. Around. This, this about also uh, sponsored by... Shortest.com.au. Shortest you know medical. what Shortest does? Drugs of abuse. That's what they test. They test, test the fighters for drugs of abuse, and uh, Dr. Peter Lewis is a proud supporter of Shortest Medical. You can find him on Shortest.com.au. Right. Oh, just having a good time out there at this point. Tap Sijitong. Just relaxing. Very relaxed there in centre. Of course, Sijitong, well affiliated with the BJC. Look at that, beautiful switch up, push kick, switch through right and left hand into the low kick. And He's standing flat footed. And look, right, had, and had, a quick, had a quick chat to Ramesh out of the back just before Hammer and uh, you know he was, he was feeling very confident but as he said he knows it's a big step up for him. But one of the things with Tum, we, we know the tyres are quick and, and uh, Ramesh has got about 8 inches height and reach advantage on him. But Tum's getting the kicks up nice and high on Ramesh. We'll have a look at the Tum just calling for Ramesh to kick him in the body. Good evasion. Just really toying with Ramesh now. Trying to get inside his head, Johnny, I think. He can't. And he be, will be penalised if, if he keeps catching those kicks, either to the body or to the legs. In 10 seconds to go, Ramesh. That's that body kick rocket through. Very fast, Ramesh. Hey, Bib. I'll tell you what, take nothing away from Tom Sidney Tong as well. He is slick, but I tell you what, Ramesh has stepped up in that first round hammer. Proudly bought you by Fighters Express. Okay, guys. Say, Peter. So round two, proudly brought you by Fighters Express. Peter Hatton's gym around the corner there in Bryant's Road in Dandenong. On. Get down and have a look at Peter Hatton's Fighters Express. Full-time gym, personal training. Of course, fight training as well. Ramesh Habib. Training out of their 19 years of age, the head hunter. Transition from the feet to the hands. Sijotong Ramesh is really uh, focusing on this one, Ramesh. He's still looking very fast. Look at that beautiful body shot, straight punch body shot, low kick Ramesh. Nicely done. And Ramesh has, uh, Ramesh has uh, come back from a training sting over in Thailand as well. So the boys are down at there at Fighter Express starting to get into the grapple on the knees and the elbows. He's got Imster Ook down there at the moment helping out in the grappling side of things. Certainly so uh, what they need to be doing. A body kick for body kick. Have a look at that switch loop kick from Ramesh. Pushes through. Fast hands. Rocket, rocket fire. Rapid fire hands on the inside. Sitter time. One, two. Is there any tough fans in the house? Yeah, some of his rap has actually come out from under the glove. So, Is there anyone sure. here for the headhunter? Plenty of support here from the headhunter. He always gets a lot of support. Ramesh Habib, the headhunter. 
Geez, hasn't he had some uh, devastating head kick KOs Mate, in his he's, wide he's, career? Yeah, he's switch up left head kick. He's uh, one to be seen. Tama want to keep his hands up nice and tight. Of course, you're watching this on Fight Sports on Fox Del Aurora, proudly brought to you by JPS Coatings. Paris Productions, the best DVD producer in the country, Barn. And every Tuesday night, repeats twice on Sunday, Sunday morning, Sunday nights, and again on Monday nights. More fights, more often coming your way from Fight Sports, Hammer. Fight certainly sounds that way. Cash for comment. <laughs> One, two, three, good ball, yeah, and then a kick. Good work from Ramesh. Ramesh. Ignatius Missalides, Darren Bauer and Bryce Burt whistle. Fighters, second down. Okay, all right, second down. Touch my Fighters, touch gloves. Step back, guys. Let's wait. Take it down. This is the third. And wait. Final round. Here we go, the third and final round. And starting around with Peter Hatton still in centre ring. Proudly brought you by Fighters Express. Also, there's been more people in that ring corner than the Boomer Parade. I swear to God, everyone is in that corner. I'll tell you what, the boys are starting to load up now, Hammer. Tom, see, Tom really getting his kicks up nice and high on Ramesh. Ramesh got really good counter reaction time. Sets up the hands, just misses the target, but still finishes with a kick. Tom skips up forward, lets the right hand go. Oh, oh they're spinning, spinning kick. back kiss. That's a kick of the night from Ramesh Habib. And that's what R Ramesh is known about. And, mate, he's not phased at all about this, this tie standing in front of him with 89 fights. It is under kickboxing rules, which is Ramesh's preferred that, fighting look style. That, look at that from Ramesh Habib. Beautiful handwork. Big hands from the headhunter. Chops the inside by Ramesh. Just keeping that work rate coming. All scoring, all good for Ramesh Habib, the local lad, doing it in fine style. And Pete Patton will be smiling with joy if this keeps going. There's no doubt he will get the win. Mate, Peter Hatton doesn't get too vocal, but he's uh, he's on the edge of his seat over there in the red corner. Norman Liu almost wore that kick there from uh, Ramesh. Ramesh just takes a kick on the back of the glove, counters back fast, fire hands. Ramesh Habib. He's got a good guard on him too, Ramesh Habib Hammer. Nice and tight in his transition. He's got a good, fast transition too from guard to, to attack. Ramesh Habib chops away at the leg, just taps away. Tight guard again, Ramesh. He, can't, he should guard and counter. Ten seconds ago, Hammer. Nice. As Norman Lou nearly wore that kick again. There it is. There you go, Hammer. This one's going to go to the judges. What a performance from both boys. Ramesh Habib stepped up to the plate and held his own hammer. He might have even taken the fight at this stage. Say so Ramesh Habib, due to uh, sheer work rate alone, should get the points here. Just uh, fast hand work. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read out the judges' score, let's give a big round of applause. What a race. After the three rounds of actions, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your judge, the matches displays at fight 29 28 to the red corner. Your judge, Darren Bauer, at the fight 29 29. Draw. And your judge, Bryce Burnthwistle, at the fight 30 29 to the blue corner. Which means it is a split draw. Oh, there you go, Hammer, a split draw. I'd love to see these boys go at it again. Full credit to, though to Ramesh Habib in only his 10th fight stepping up against Tum Sityatong with 89 fights under his belt. Tum just putting on a display, but Ramesh, his work rate was very, very busy. Bring these boys back on again. It is now time for the semi main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lethal John Leveland.
and his opponent, a fan favorite from the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, Nick Benjo Semi main event of the evening, proudly brought to you by JPS Coatings. This is for the IKBF Australian title. Nick Banjo Patterson, trained by Ed Beverlock out of Kimberley, Jim down in Cram, and there, South Pacific and state champion, 10 fights, 9 wins, taking on lethal John Levin from Team CFS. That's customised fitness solutions up in Kirrawee, New That's South Wales. Anyway, Johnny, Johnny Levin is uh, a quality all rounder. 26 fights, Hammer. That's what he was uh, doing MMA before. MMA some was around. Some, some people were thinking about doing it. Johnny Levin has been, uh, has been around for a long time and uh, certainly had some quality opponents and quality matchups in his career. He's fought on all the best MMA cards around Australia. The Rise, Brace, Shudo titles. He's got some good wins over Antonio Motta and Chris. Nice the white sniper of, Johnson. Nice kick out of the inside supporting leg. Banjo. Nick Patterson as well. So that's the, Mixed fortunes, but always brings entertainment and uh, good skills to centre ring when he competes. Banjo he never stands still, Nick Patterson. Sort of the sunny Vanathy of uh, MMA. <laughs> Jumping knees, they just come from everywhere from Nick Banjo Patterson. The single leg taken, good driving knee. Straight into the clinch. Gave up the, uh, the leg, went straight up, clinched the knee. That's the quality of Banjo. Transitions really well. That's such a Huge diversity of techniques. Levin just chipping away at the legs of Patterson on the inside of the clinch there. It's Levin body lock. Ed Beverlock, you can hear him through the FX microphone, is calling on to, to Nick Patterson. Nick trying, uh, trying to throw that knee guard up and does. Needs to be careful though, as you saw there, he just put the knee guard on. Johnny Levin went straight for the takedown as soon as he was on one leg. Just working the inside legs as well with the knees as Johnny Levin. Chipping hands from Patterson. Levin keeping the head buried in nice and close so he doesn't get caught with any elbows. Knee to the body. Nick Patterson in the game. Jostle for position. Jumping knee. There's the jumping knee you spoke of, Johnny. Two, three, four, five knees. Six. Oh, that one's rattled, Levin. That one's rattled, Levin. Levin was just determined to lock onto the legs, but as he was trying to do that, Banjo Patterson just drove home the knees. It's a single leg. Scrambles now takes his back. Nick Patterson is on fire tonight. Got the underhooks in there, hammer with the legs. Chipping away under the guard, over the guard. Just trying to soften, it, soften up so he can get that rear naked choke locked in. He's got one in. hand round. Tell you what a scalp. If Nick Banjo Patterson can get Johnny Levin, get the W over Johnny Levin, that's a huge win. For the IKBF MMA Australian title hammer, so it's there for the taking. Chipping away with that left hand, rolling through on the right. You can, you can hear Red Beverlock just calling out to Nick Patterson saying he cannot settle. He's got to keep working. Levin doing a good job of defending against the rear naked choke, but getting pinged in the process. 
with that hammer fist on the left hand. He goes again with the hammer fist to the neck, jaw area. Again, That's where the cauliflower ears come from, hammer. The cauliflower ears. <laughs> Here Ed Bevelock calling out, and every time he calls something out, Nick Banjo Patterson transitions to exactly what Ed's calling for. John Levin just controlling the arm. Here we go, he's got, he's got, got it locked got it, in he's now. Got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's tapped out. A very early tap there from John Levin. Nick Banjo Patterson, your new Australian IKBF champion. Absolutely dominated John Levin there on the ground. Flawless performance tonight from Nick Banjo Patterson. Absolutely flawless. He is back into fine form, the Banjo. Ladies and gentlemen, three minutes and 35 seconds into the very first round. Your referee, Mr. Massachusetts, 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 Very happy Nick Banjo Patterson there. Bet the bling is going back to Graham, but we want to make sure he locks it up down there, mate. But the bling will be on the spike at Kimakai and a very happy Ed Bevelock too in the corner. Of course, Nick uh, bouncing around, mate. And of course, now we get to the obligatory photos with the beautiful AWA ring girls. All right, Daniel. It's cold. Daniel, Professor Center. Here we go. It is the main event of evening. I'm going to push the boys. Are you ready?
go, boys. Full title rules. Five threes. Touch clubs now. Last round. Best of luck. Back to corners. A loss in the final of the eight-man eliminator after beating Jack McGuinness and Eli Mad Dog Madigan, losing to Toby Smith. Mike, 300 Dimitro, he's taken them all on. He certainly has. I think uh, his trainer, Don Miller, of course, has made the decision. They've made the decision together that uh, you, if it's to be, it's now. And uh, he will fight all comers oh, and only uh, quality well, well, credentialed well. opponents in the quest to be number one himself. This is Mike, 300 Dimitro, but tonight he will be tested. Jabba Askarov held pads for him and uh, trained with him myself in Thailand and let me tell you his freakish power especially with the hooks Keep working far, a very fast powerful fighter it is uh, dangerous and can cause damage from any one of uh, any one of his limbs that will almost we've got Mike 300 is one of the most technical Thai fighters going around we've got Jabba Raskarov we've seen him knock out the, the preacher in round one we've seen him knock out Soren Monkong Tong on the contender he's fought John Wayne Parr Keep he's fought Zambides He's fought uh, John Mayer in Thailand. And, yeah. He's fought everyone. Certainly has. And, uh, living and, and training out of Bangkok for uh, many years. Because he's based at the Sassaprapa gym over there in uh, Thailand. But 102 fights for 73 wins. So fighting a southpaw is not going to phase him as much as it has some of Mike's other opponents. Obviously, Mike, uh, Dimitri, left-handed fighter. Have a look, Jabba. There's the hooks I mentioned earlier. The question is, Hammer, has Mike Dimitri, will he be able to withstand the power of Jabba? Oh, Raskarov? he's clipped. He's clipped, and he's down and out. He's more than clipped. He's out cold, Hammer. Jabba Raskarov, light work tonight. Big hands from the man they call the bomb. Well, it's what I told you. That's what I told you. Those powerful hooks, those powerful punches. Freakish ability and power. Jabba Raskarov, who's next? Mate, take nothing away from Mike 300, Demetrio. He has taken on the best. He's standing up now smiling at Jabba. But that's why Jabba he gets flown all around the world to be a main event, because he's that good. This power-packed, explosive fighter. Well-prepared, well-conditioned, well-schooled, well-done the job. And uh, no shame in Mike 300, Demetrio stepping up for that one as well. Big thanks to Fighting Fit Lifestyle Centres, the MMA division out there at South East Boulevard in Pakenham. It's been a huge night. Hammer, it's been a big night here at uh, Night of Mayhem number five. Certainly Just has. finishing off with Jabba Askarov, knocking out Mike Dimitriou. Oh, well, Jabba's world class has been flown in by Peter Hatton. He put on a display like nothing else we've seen. All class, the preparation was done, the hard work was done, and he finished it off, capped it off with a fine KO knockout in our main event here tonight. Big thank you to Peter Hatton and Fighters Express Promotions. You've been watching Fight Sports, proudly brought to you by JPS Cody. Thank you and good night.
Get home safe and we will see you next time at 9 of Mayhem.